So here I'm about to lead you right here. Okay, about to now why do you have green on? Okay, this is just a color option. Okay. I got it over there. I don't know, I'm just trying to get you green. Okay. The lower is green. Oh, really? Yeah. So it says here. Yeah. So that's not a thing. That's one way you're going to get up out of your condition. Did you call on that name Jesus? You call on a demon. Who do you call? Because the Lord's name ain't Jesus. My sister told me you say name Christ Jesus. Well, your sister don't know what else to talk about. Okay, but listen. How's your name Jesus when the letter J wasn't even in existence prior to the 1600s? What's his name then? Your power son. That's Hebrew. So, if I was a Hebrew and I spoke Hebrew, how am I going to tell you my name in Hebrew, right? So, let me show you something. You got to listen. So, how did you, why they change it? They went to the work. The work they changed it. And confusion and to uh, uh, so you would get rejected. Because, listen. Right. If I'm, if I, if I'm. Well, what happens if you don't know no better? Well, you know, I'm telling you now. You ain't got no... Sorry you, for people that don't know no better. Well, let me tell you something. The majority of our people don't know better, don't know no better, because they choose not to know no better. One Sometimes third, you only do what you know. One third of our... Well, you don't matter now, because once you see... Well, look, the Lord gives you a reason. He gives you... So, for example, like I'm out here to give you the truth. And I'm giving you the truth. So whether you accept it or not is up to you. Okay, if you choose not to accept it, when the Lord comes, He's going to reject you. Because let me show you something. You got to listen to this. You got to listen. You have to listen carefully. And listen. This is not my own words that I'm making up. All right. That's one thing you have to pay attention me making my own words up. I'm reading out the book. Okay. I'm reading out the book. Because like I said, that's why we're told to come out to the streets. Because we're marking the people. And by marking the people is, by when judgment comes, you can never say, oh, I didn't know. Because this is how strict the Lord is. You ain't got to sit here and talk to me. As long as you're walking by and you see a prophet out teaching the word, it's your duty to go get understanding. You don't just see the man and keep going. That's how strict he is. And a whole lot of our people, like I said, two-thirds of our people are going to burn in the fire when he comes. Because they choose to not listen. All right? So listen, listen, this is not me making these words up myself, all right? I'm not making them up. I'm reading them too. You can read them all. It says. No, I can't see the so Okay. Can't see okay. It says, wisdom cries without in the streets. Wisdom cries without in the streets. That's that right. Where, you, where am I at? There's no wisdom in the streets. Where am I at? I'm on the streets. The streets. All right. But it says, but what does they mean by that? Wisdom cries without on the streets. That means men of the Lord are going to be out here in the streets, crying out, crying. But it says wisdom. Wisdom. That's what this is, wisdom. Wisdom. The streets of wisdom? No, the people out here pushing the wisdom. Oh, you my you? The message. Right. Oh, okay. All right. I'm trying to understand. I understand. Wisdom cries without in the streets. She utters her voice in the streets. She utters her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse at the opening of the gates in the city she uttered her word saying. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners to like their scorning and fools hate knowledge? So there's a lot of people out here, just don't, you know, just don't be brothers lined up listening to me right now. But no, it's just me doing that. Alright? It says, but like I said, it says fools hate knowledge. See, these people out here, they rather, they, the streets are satisfying to them. Selling drugs and murdering and killing each other and the, the host of many other wicked things that they're into. But they choose to ignore this, all right? So it says, turn you at my reproof correction. That's what I'm telling you. You can't be out here doing what the fuck you want to do, selling drugs and selling pussy. What does that say about my correction? Turn, it's, it's telling you just to turn to my reproof. Reproof is correction. Oh, okay. Turn to be corrected. All right? Listen. How here. do you turn to be corrected? I mean, turn right. away from I'm, what you're doing. Yeah. But I got to teach you how what's right and what's wrong. Because you tell our people what is what is sin. They can't tell you what sin is. They don't know that there's laws in the Bible that tells you what sins are. You know? Just by wearing clothing with different fabrics, you say that it is a sin. But that's not a sin that you know. Huh? Uh, 
everybody wearing clothing that's mixed with uh, different fabrics, like cotton and, and uh, polyester. I'm not supposed to wear this. Neither one of us. Wow. But the devil does it that way intentionally, so the devil can say to God, look at your people going off. Look at your people not listening. Look at your people are breaking all, your, all the things you said I'm not to do. Wear silk. You can wear any kind of fabric, but you can't combine them together. Well, ain't nothing you can do. But crying to the Heavenly Father and say, I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong and the things I continue to do wrong. Could you please forgive me of my sins? That's why I told you to repent. And that's part of our message to people is to repent for the things you've done wrong. So let me continue on reading. You've got to listen. It says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And this is how the Lord pours out his spirit unto you by he sends, He gives you a man to pour out his spirit unto you so you have understanding. Listen. I will make known my words unto you. So the Lord's not going to come down here himself and, and speak to you. He's going to send you a man to do that. Hey, listen. I will also laugh. Wait a minute. Let me, it says, because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But I, listen, like I'm out here now, right? Telling the people to come in, mainly men, to come in and learn this truth. But who's listening? You don't see nobody listening. That's what he's saying. Since they're not listening, this is what he's going to do. It says, because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said it no on my counsel. Counsel, that means they're ignoring it, you know. And with none of my reproof, it says, look, I also will laugh at your calamity. The Bible says this, I also will laugh at your calamity. Calamity is your destruction. I will mock when your fear comes. He's going to laugh when your fear comes. It says, when your fear cometh as a desolation, as destruction, and your fear cometh as a whirlwind, because whether people know it or not, the Lord's coming out of the sky in a giant UFO. When we're talking about the believing UFO, and those that believe in UFOs think they're some goddamn aliens with tentacles, who like a fucking octopus or some shit, it's the Lord that's coming. So when he do crack them skies, just imagine everybody that's been programmed by televisions to think, oh, that's aliens, it's aliens. They're going to start shooting at them, not even knowing it's the Lord, because they didn't listen. If they would have heard, they would know, oh, it's the Lord that's coming in those two homes. Him and the host of other angels. And that's all through the scriptures when you read the Bible. So let me check, check it out. When the destruction comes as a whirlwind, the whirlwind is those chariots, because when you see them, there's always spinning. Okay? The chariots. But the Bible, the Bible, refer to UFOs as chariots. Uh, okay. Alright? So it says, When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So that's what's coming. Death and destruction is coming, but at the same time, the Lord is going to deliver one third of his people. Check this out. He's going to deliver one third of his people. Two thirds of our people are going to die by all kind of horrendous deaths because they didn't listen to the Lord. Now, if the Lord said, "Don't serve other gods," he's that, the scripture said he's a jealous power. How do you think? Now, if I catch you, you my woman, I catch you with a man. What am I going to do? Huh? I'm going to try and break your goddamn neck, and I'm going to break his neck too. Why? Because that's the spirit the Lord put in the man of jealousy. We're supposed to have a. Anybody supposed to be sharing the goddamn woman? Oh no, 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 no. That's wrong. Yeah, smack the living shit out of you. But if I catch you fucking mad, I'm gonna try and kill your ass. Hell yeah. But in this world right now, we're living in no. If you are, I'm just gonna cut you off. You better go to the business. Goodbye. Yeah. You know. But really, this is the ancient world. Well, the scripture says we're going back to the old path. We're going to the old ways. We're going. We're going back to the old ways. Well, well, after the Lord comes back, he's going he's to restore the old way. Because all this shit is going to be, there's going to be no existence of this madness that's going on right now. You know? Because the righteous won't be important. These people right here are going to rule with them. And ain't going to be none of this homelessness and suffering and diseases and drugs. The Israelites won't rule with them. <laughs> here you go. 
I'm gonna close with this last one. I'm gonna close with this last one. I'm gonna have this one Let me blow, let me blow your mind with this one. You good, brother. You Your good. clothes is ready after a while. Okay, thank you. This is just how it works, man. You give them the message. Um, she's going to get some clothes out of the dryer now. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, let me continue on another spirit. Same spirit on the woman, though. Same spirit on the woman. But I'll go back to this destruction of the wicked when she gets back. I'm going right back to the book of Psalms that I was going to read earlier. I'm telling you, man, you gotta be wary of these women, man. You know, I mean, you, I can't hook up with her right now because when I leave here, man, I'm going straight to the crib. Straight to the crib. To sundown. Again, like I said, man, it's a Sabbath. We're under a Sabbath right now. And like you said, man, these women are like a trap. Like the script, but the Bible even tell you these women are like traps, man. And it take a seasoned brother to deal with these men, these women, man. You know, it take a seasoned brother, man. Here it is, right here. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. I told you the heavenly spirit, heavenly Father, how about Shem Yahushai? Always, He provides for you. When you're in need, man, always, man. And everything is always spiritual. Everything that pops off is a spiritual thing, man. You know? 
Ecclesiastes 7 and 26, and I find more bitter than death the woman. You know? Because these women are constantly on the, uh, their mind is always constantly in the gutter, man. You know? And like the girl said earlier, that she don't have no more faith. You know? She don't have no more faith, man. You know? And being out here in these streets, that's, just, that's what these streets do. That's what these streets do to you, man. These streets destroy you, man. You know, destroy you, man. And I can't remember where the book started, the scripture is, when the scripture says how these harlots, these, a lot of these harlots are going to make it. A lot of these harlots on the streets, you know? But it says, I find more bitter than death the woman. These hearts are snares and nets. So you just can't be going in and dealing with these women blindly, just thinking, oh, of course, this is just a woman. She may dig you and shit that she ain't going to do no wrong to you, man. When you ain't seen nothing but examples of these women have fucking five, six, seven kids by a nigga, man, and she still buried that motherfucker, man. You know? Evil-ass women, man. I mean fucking evil-ass women, okay? Whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. And that's her ultimate goal, is her ultimate goal, she's thinking of how to trap your ass, you know? How to trap your ass, because she's always thinking constantly of gaining. How she can she gain, and always trying to get, get the advantage. Always. It said, who shall please it? the Most High shall escape from her, okay? And what did the scripture says I read earlier in the book of Ecclesiastes, in the book of Sharat? But the sinner shall be taken by her. So that's the same thing I just read earlier. It's just read, it's just worded different. But it's saying the same thing. Here, let me just get it. You know, I'm not gonna get it again, okay? Here you go, behold, this have I found, said the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account. And like I said, man, this, this right here, and a lot of the Aki Mount teaching, man, is proof of the scripture. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account. Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. But I find not. One man among a thousand have I found. And like I said, that shows you how scarce, uh, Brother love, brotherly love is, man. You know? Right there it shows you that there is no brotherly love out here when it says, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found. Just one man among a thousand? So all the rest, man, you gotta watch your goddamn back. But a, a woman amongst all those have I not found. So don't even think you have found some precious jewel. You know, I don't give a fuck how pretty she is. How fat that booty may be, man. Well, you should see this chick that's coming back. She bad, man. She bad. She got a body and everything, man. She bad. But she out here in the streets, man. And I already know. Take them pants off, man. I know it's going to... Like I said, man, it'd be just the Spirit of the Lord that girl was clean, man. It'd be the Spirit of the Lord. But she out here. Girl out here. She's surviving. That's her. That's, her, that's what she's doing. She out here surviving, man. Some know how to survive better than others because they're prettier, man. They, they main, they, some know how to maintain themselves better, man. Especially if they've been overtaken by these, these sorcerers out here that's hitting them with these pharmaceutical drugs and, you know, these Percocets and shit. That's hitting them with the, these, like I said, these sorcerers out here, man, the Most High is going to do, the Most High is going to visit them, you know, out here destroying the woman by putting, getting her addicted to drugs, man. Hair, all this heroin and crack on these streets, man. You know, Most High gonna deliver them. The Most High is gonna visit them, man, for their wickedness, man. You know, I read a scripture earlier in Deuteronomy 28. Thou will not hearken. If thou will not hearken, that all these curses shall overcome you and overtake you, man. You know, but that day is coming where the Most High is gonna start to visit the world. He's actually beginning to visit the world. But well, it's going to be that time coming where the Lord, His whole spirit is going to be here, man. Wicked is going to be at its all fucking all time high. And the righteous is going to be safely under the Lord's wing, man, being protected. You know? The men of the Lord, the men of the Lord that out, that were faithful to the Lord, going to be, going to be good, man. You know? Because they had the sense enough, they had the spirit in them to listen. And you have to give the, say, the water to your house, from your house side that he even took us up out of this world, man. You know? And like I said, man, you sorcerers, man, you're on your way out, man. You know?
And that's one thing I can't fucking stand is these fucking goddamn, they call them street pharmacists. Like they got some good, like they got a good label. That's their name tag they have. The street pharmacists. Fucking evil son of a bitch is gonna destroy our nation, man. You look at it, man, and just read about what drugs has done to our, our nation as a whole, man. Whoo, that's crazy. You know, if you ain't on the drug, the money, chasing the drug just destroys your family. And if you were on the drug, you definitely got uh, uh, what you call uh, <laughs> disowned. <laughs> so I told my kids, they got your motherfuckers become crackheads, man. Don't just don't come back. Cause you're, in, you're, you're not welcome. You know, you know. You get clean. The Lord put the Spirit on me to accept you back, and you'll be accepted back. But them drugs, man. You know, don't 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 even come around. Don't call me or nothing. I, I'm gonna have new kids in the kingdom of heaven. You know. I'm going to have many wives, and I'm going to have many kids in the kingdom of heaven. You ain't going to be nothing but a distant fucking memory. You know? That's what the Lord said, you know? You can't be his disciple if you don't hate him. He named the, the, the list. Your kids, your mom, your dad. I don't mean you be cussing them out. It don't mean you hate them like, my nah, fucking hate you. Dad, I fucking hate you, man. Fighting with your parents, hitting them and shit. That don't even what it means, man. You don't, it means you don't hate their ways, man. You condemn their ways, you know. So you ain't fit to serve the Lord in the kingdom of heaven if you can't, if you can't even acknowledge the wickedness of your family, man. You know, you ain't fit to serve the Lord. And I'm not waiting for the preach. I'm gonna wait for it, though. But I'm gonna end the video here. So with that, the water, the howl, brush, and the howl, shy, brush, and the howl, brush, and the howl, shy, brush, and the howl, brush, and the howl, shy, the water. You know, till next time, Lord willing, shalom.